So hey guys welcome back to the react native course in the last video we have seen that how to handle form in react native in this video we are going to talk about flat list in react native so what is flat list so flat list flat list in react native like in any app like if you're developing e-commerce app or any app so you have to show the list of items in your app okay so we have to use flat list in react native let's suppose we want to deal with a large amount of data so we have to use flat list in react native flat list is a component which is used to uh, render the list of data okay this one uh, you know interesting thing about flat, flat list is that flat list only render that item which is on the ui and whenever we scroll the uh, items from the ui it recycle the item which is not on the ui okay so it make the flat list more efficient to render the large amount of data okay without any having a hang or something you know uh, a lot of storage uses okay let's see about the flat list so how so usually we use flat list for the rendering the list of items in react native so let's see how we can uh, do that so let me open my vs code quickly so in the last session we have learned this all this stuff let me you know remove this all the code quickly and please let me know if you guys have any question on the last tutorial okay so i'm going to create a new fresh component app component and we are going to do a flat list okay let's suppose uh, you are you know uh, you want to show list of products and okay so you can use flat list or wherever like you know you have a large amount of data list of products list of songs list of items list of users so like whenever the large data come up so you guys have to use flat list so let's see create one data cons data okay and we're gonna have some kind of data id is equal to one name is equal to sham prashad so we're gonna have some list of users okay and let's do let's you know copy paste some data okay so the name the second will be john uh, john smith and the third one will be william william smith and the fourth data so currently you know i'm just creating a data quickly and let's see we have called pablo pablo smith and we're gonna have another candidate called uh malcolm malcolm smith okay now we want to render these items okay so we have a flat list so what is flat list flat list is a component okay which we have which we have to import from the react native okay we have imported this now whenever the flat list comes so we have to uh, we have uh, some data we have to pass so first things we have to pass the data so we have to write data and we have to pass our data whatever we want to render on the ui so i pass my data okay now we have to pass a component okay now so render items took a component so currently we are going to use inline component quickly okay now uh, let me do like this and we're gonna have uh, some view and inside the view we're gonna have a uh, text and okay there's one more thing we're gonna get the props here we get the items okay now if i open the data we have called item dot name okay so we can do like this item dot id and item.id plus item dot item dot name okay on the ui so let's see what we are getting on the ui so uh, this is how we are getting the values and let me do like this okay some spacing awesome now we can see this okay now let's style this okay so flat list is have one more thing flat list has automatically scrolled so so it has a scroll behavior like you have a, like tons of data let's suppose we have okay let me show you quickly uh let's style this quickly uh style style is equal to styles dot name okay name we gonna have a font size as a 
25 quickly background color will be pink for now okay let's keep some kind of padding as a 20 text align as a center okay and we're gonna have a some called margin vertical as a 20 and let's see so we have just you know five component let me add some more five component quickly so we have a 10 component okay now whenever we have a score uh, you know we are using flat list so what is happening we got a you know scroll you know we got a scroll functionality and what is happening under the hood basically so whenever we scroll the item in the in the if you are using flat list to it will recycle the component which is not on the ui okay and that's a crazy thing about this and there's one more thing uh, we have to pass one other another parameter called key extractor okay and how we do we have to pass here like this a unique id why we have to pass the unique id and why what is the use of unique id so key extractor helps to optimize the list when whenever the component get update or unmount okay and okay i think i'm getting some issue cannot read properties of id i think we have to pass like this perfect so this is all about the uh, you know flat list the flat list is optimized and if you want to uh, render the list of items so at that point of time you guys have to use flat list i think that's all about the flat list we will more discuss about the flat list flat list has a lot of options a lot of props like on and reach on header on refresh so we will discuss that all in the later video i think that's all and please like this video and please let me know if you have any question thank you bye